Hey guys, in today's video, we're talking about Angora Soap's High Roller. Also keep watching because we also have a giveaway from this soap artisan coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John. If this is your first time visiting the channel, then you've come to the right place if you're looking for more information on all things wet shaving. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a relatively new soap maker, and that is Angora Soaps. Specifically, uh, I've been using and testing out High Roller right here. Before moving forward, I do want to disclose that I received the products featured in today's video for free uh, for the purpose of trying them out, reviewing them, and sharing those results with you. All thoughts and opinions are my own, take them or leave them. So first, some quick background information on Angora Soaps. So the owner of Angora Soaps is Peter Gignac, and he is based in North Virginia, here in the United States. Angora Soaps is a tallow-based shaved soap, and notable ingredients, uh, taking a quick look here, include cocoa butter and lanolin. The shaved soap costs $16 USD in a 4.5 ounce tub, and matching splashes are incoming, uh, hopefully by the summer. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. All right, so next let's talk about the high roller soap in particular. So let me give you some scent impressions. But uh, first off, the scent itself is a dupe of Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. And let's scroll up the top here. You can take a look at the color of the soap. Let's give it a sniff. So I would say this is a medium strong soap. It's, uh, it's pretty robust and it does actually a really good job. Ombre Leather, uh, I have a decant of the fragrance. I really do enjoy that one. It's a very smooth suede leather and this does a nice job uh, capturing the scent. I think I would categorize this one as maybe an evening wear scent or cool weather. A leather in general tends to be you know, quite a strong note, and especially in the high heat of summer, interacting with your chemistry, it could really it could get really screechy. So uh, for me, I like to use these kind of scents, you know, in the fall or winter. Next up, let's talk about the performance of the soap. I will say uh, that it took a few shaves to dial in properly, but sometimes some gear comes in, I really want to use it, and sometimes I use them all for the same shave. Not typically a good idea. I will say that once it was dialed in properly, the lather was dense, creamy, and really enjoyable. Now don't get me wrong, although it took a few shaves to get it right, the lather always looked really good. One thing to note though was that what added to the d discomfort of some of my early shaves was uh, I do believe that the fragrance oil in High Roller, um, I have some mild allergic reactions to it. It caused some irritation. That's just a note for those who m might have more sensitive skin or sensitive to frag burn. Uh, just be careful for the with this one as uh, there, are, there are other scents available from Angora that be might be simpler or just more skin friendly. So this tub of High Roller was the main soap I was using during my testing. I do have a tub of Midnight Lavender that I'm really looking forward to trying out, and that'll actually help me to determine whether the irritation is coming from the fragrance side or maybe something in the soap base. I will say though, uh, while I called out cocoa butter and lanolin uh, amongst the ingredient list, because other shave soaps I've tried that have those two ingredients, I tend to really like. Um, I do know lanolin also is, uh, it can cause irritation for some folks. It hasn't with me, but you know, I won't know until I try. So stay tuned as I'll be covering that soap in the coming weeks. I also want to note that High Roller and the aforementioned Midnight Lavender are part of the signature collection. Uh, those are more unique offerings from Angora Soaps. They also have a classic collection, which includes things like Barbershop, Sandalwood, you know, scents that you might find on, on other artisans but are more familiar. Now for those of you who are curious about this soap based on my description, or you've just been waiting for more details on the giveaway, now's your time to shine because I have this tub of Muir Woods from Angora Soaps. Uh, this is a brand new tub, unused. This is gonna be up for grabs. A little bit on the scent of Muir Woods. This is an oud or agarwood forward scent, 
and it's a beautiful woody scent that really transports you to like the forest or you know just the outdoors in general. The official scent note breakdown is agarwood, cedarwood, redwood, orange blossom, and musk. Now how do you enter the giveaway you might be asking? Well, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Second, make sure to like this video. And the third and final step to enter the giveaway, go into the comment section and just say, I'm in. This giveaway is open to all locations, so international friends, make sure to get in on this one. All entries are due by Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you and good luck to everyone entering. All right, so to sum things up, really great first outing with Angora soaps. I think that the soap formula itself is, is, is a really great initial offering from a new artisan. Uh, the price point is attractive, so it's not gonna hurt your wallet too much if you like trying out different software, new soap makers, etc. What drew me to this one was actually this very soap high roller because you know I didn't have that scent represented in my shave den, so when a few friends had mentioned to me and recommended it to me, it definitely piqued my interest. So all around, a very solid offering. Again, I will be using that Midnight Lavender scent uh, in some upcoming shaves, so keep an eye out uh, for my thoughts on that scent in particular. I also do want to thank Peter from Angora Soaps for reaching out to me and for the opportunity to try out his products. So that'll just about do it for today's review. I do want to thank you guys so much for your continued support, for your time in watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you real soon. Take care. Oh,